Hello and welcome back to WTMJ Get Understanding program. I am Pastor Eddie LaRogue and with me is... I am Pastor Pierre Roman Eliassin. As you know, WTMJ Get Understanding is a Bible teaching in full context according to its historical setting as we rightly divide in the word of truth. That's right. And you can always reach us at 1-888-434-WTMJ. That's 1-888-434-9865. And send us, as usual, letters, correspondence, support for the ministry to P.O. Box 642, Holbrook, New York, 11741. And we are going to, as usual, start with prayer pastor pierre heavenly father we thank you for your grace in our lives thank you for the gift of our savior and lord jesus christ thank you for the holy spirit who abide in us forever lord as we go into study your word holy spirit guide us in all understanding we praise you. We honor you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So, today our teaching is the importance of the original languages of the Bible. So, Pastor Eddie, what are or what is, if we have only one, what is our objective? Yep, you're for right. today. We do have one. Only one, okay. And it, it's the objective is to just understand the reason mm -hmm. for knowing the importance of the original languages of the Bible. I I, I love the, the the word knowing. Yes. To know because sometimes we need to understand when you know something, you really act upon it accordingly. Okay. So, Pastor Eddie, why we need to know? Why we need to learn? What is learning? If I can ask you that question, Pastor. Amy. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So in learning, we want to talk about how we acquire mm -hmm. um, knowledge, yes. right? So we can acquire knowledge through study. Okay. We can acquire knowledge through experience, mm -hmm. which is natural, right? We're yes. going through life, yes. so mm -hmm. we're, we're becoming more and more experienced mm -hmm. in life. Okay. And we can acquire knowledge through being taught. Okay, right? yes, yes. And that creates the learning. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So learning is moving from a false belief okay. to a true belief. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Agreed? So I, I, I agree. Because when you are... But that, as I'm thinking about that, as you are talking, Pastor Eddie, we need to learn in the right perspective of learning. Because you can learn only. So it's not only learning who is important or training, but are you training the right way? Or are you learning the right way? Or are you learning under a right teacher? Amen and amen. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to learn we go. wrongly. And then have to unlearn. Here we go. Because we know mm -hmm. that that is very difficult, difficult to do. Yes. And that is a key, Pastor Eddie. We want to learn. We want to know. Mm -hmm. But as Christians, as God, the Holy Spirit, to guide you under a real teacher of the word so you can learn accordingly to the word of god amen amen, yes. amen. hallelujah only when we are studying god's word in context accordingly to his historical setting mm -hmm. as we follow the guidance of the holy spirit in study his word by rightly dividing the word of truth then and only then we will see the light and get understanding. Get understanding. Yes. Understanding is like a key mm -hmm. with two purposes. 
So the understanding unlocks unlocks okay. what? I think if you have to unlock something, is it unlocks the lies out of you. And the and? second part is it locks in mm -hmm. truth. Here we go. In you. Yes. Two mm -hmm. purposes. Because before understanding lacks the truth within you, it has, it has to release the lies. Release the lies out of you. Yes. This is very important. We I I I love the the the, 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 the sequence, Pastor. Yes. Says. Number one is not lacking the truth, is releasing the lies. Unlock the truth because what you don't know right uh, what you know wrong yeah what you know wrong must be released that's right then you can receive that's what opportunity you just said to learn mm -hmm. the understanding will give you that ability to release lies out of you and lack truth within you can you imagine mm -hmm. can you imagine leaving the lies right it's two purposes yes. and those purposes those two purposes follow a certain sequence mm -hmm. The sequence, as you said, mm -hmm. is to really get first. rid of that stuff mm -hmm. that shouldn't have been there in the first place. And it's not and easy. Then, it's not easy. And, and that's easy. exactly the more true. you spend time, imagine someone 20 years, 25 years, learning something wrong. So for that person to release Pastor AD is not easy at all. It is a battle. But by God's grace, if you really open your heart and you say the word of God is yes and amen. Yes, it's not going to be easy because you used to it. It becomes a habit. It becomes a conditioning. Here we go. Mm -hmm. And it is not easy Absolutely not. to decondition, to remove the conditions to that do. were originally there. Yes. So, Proverbs 4 mm -hmm. verse 7 tells us wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all you're getting, get understanding. understanding. So get wisdom is great. Get knowledge is great. Knowing all the verses of the Bible is wonderful. In all you're getting, get understanding. Yes. No understanding no wisdom and o no understanding k n o w is no wisdom k n o w i love that no and o no understanding and o no wisdom no understanding with k n o w no wisdom k n o w so we need to have understanding. Talking about understanding, Pastor Eddie, yes. you know, we always love to go to the root. Yes. And uh, one of the things we know the Bible was written in three languages, as you know, Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. So if you are studying understanding according to the word of God, I think it would be better to go to the root of the word understanding in those two languages, Hebrew and Greek. Can you tell us something about that? Let's do that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to look at the root word. Mm -hmm. um, in the Hebrew, it's Havana. Okay. Havana. Mm -hmm. And in the Greek, we have Katalavaino. Mm -hmm. Katalavaino. With those two words, when combined, we have understanding. Wow. It's a very clear perception of the meaning of something a clear perception a clear perception when we talk about understanding is a clear perception and that word perception came from the latin word perceptio or percipio for a clear perception perception we must have a right training if we could pass it, it we we'll go back to the first one. Say it again. For a clear, uh, for a clear perception, mm -hmm. to perceive something clearly, you must have the right training. So it's not the training who is important; mm -hmm. it is the right training. Let me say that again. For a clear perception, 
we must have the right training. So it is the process of attaining understanding by organizing and interpreting information. So that will give you understanding and give you a clear perception. When Jesus called upon a person to exercise faith, mm -hmm. it was not a blind faith. Here we go. But rather an intelligent faith. We talk about that because we're talking about understanding, Pastor Eddie. Yes. People may say, oh, what talking about understanding those philosophic words? No, 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 no. We Christian, we have solid foundation because Jesus, as Pastor Eddie said, when he calls someone to believe, he wants you to use your mind. And we can prove that according to the word of God, Pastor Eddie. Yes. So let's look at Matthew. Mm hmm 22 verse 37 yes. which says jesus replied love the lord mm -hmm. your god here we go with all your heart all your heart and with all your soul your, all your soul and with all your mind. mind that means you need to think if he used the word mind pastor Eddie, what what does the word mind apply the mind is the element, mm -hmm. the part, the substance, or process in human beings, mm. in people. Okay. That the part that reasons, mm -hmm. the part that thinks, feels, wills, perceives, and judges there as we go. well. So, please notice, Jesus said, we need to love the Lord with all our mind. But this is what I love about the mind, Pastor Eddie. This is what we need to learn the right way. Because once the mind has been sweated yes. by a new idea, mm -hmm. who is true, yes. it will never again return to its original dimension. I love that. Oh, Pastor Eddie, I want you to read that for me. I you. love that. I want you to read it and explain that to me, please. Go ahead, There's Pastor no way. There's yes. no way. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Once the mind mm -hmm. has been stretched, by a new idea, Amen. it will never again, never again never. return to its original dimension. Hallelujah. Because now you are someone who has evolved. Amen. You cannot go back to not knowing the truth what of you what you now know. Here we go. You can't go back. Here we go. I have to bring up the movie again. Go there's, ahead. A, there's another movie. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when The Matrix, in The Matrix? Matrix, yeah. I said, yes. I, he I, I, took I, the pill that opened his eyes. I saw it. And I it was it. so mm -hmm. upsetting yes. to him yes. to see the reality, the truth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of what he had been living. Yes. Could he go back? Never. Can't go back? Never. Can't go back. This is why a lot of people, Pastor Eddie, they stop people for learning. They stop people for knowing. As in slavery. But, you know. Because more you don't know, more you don't know. But the day you know, and you know that you know, you can never go back again. So I love it when he say, once the mind has been sweated by a new idea, a great idea, a true idea. True. The truth. True idea. True idea. It will never, never, never again return to its original dimension. <sighs> when you know, you know. And that truth sets you free. free. Hallelujah. So we are talking about importance of the original languages of the Bible. As you know, and we say that all the time, the best way to study anything is to begin with the root. With the root. With the root. With the root. Mm -hmm. So, we know that the original written languages, as Pastor Pierre, you said earlier, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. Mm -hmm. So, the question is, why is it so important to know about the original written languages of the Bible? Why? Mm -hmm. Because there are times when words yes. cannot be translated accurately. Why? 
because of lack of corresponding words in the language that we are translating. Let me say it again. Why we take our time to study the original language of the Bible? Because there are times when words cannot be translated accurately because of lack of corresponding words in the language that are uh, that we are translated. Yes. Do you remember that example? <laughs> Go ahead. It's the cat and dog. Cat and dog. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Okay. <laughs> if you come to America and they say to you, "Oh, Juno is winning cat and dogs." Don't go outside until you're going to see cat and dogs falling, out falling the from the sky. No, it is an expression is raining very heavy. So again, you need to be in that context. You need to be in that culture to understand what does that mean is raining cat and dogs. So to repeat that, mm -hmm. it's important to know as you're reading scripture, mm -hmm. As you're reading the Bible, it is important to remember the cultural yes. context Amen. of the narrative that you are reading. It makes all of the differences. Yes. Cer certain expressions mm -hmm. uh, that the Jews had. Yes. It's it's not our oh, culture. I love that. I love that. Well, I, I, I'm, 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 I have to jump in. You just see something very powerful. And this is why Pastor Eddie, we keep saying all the time in WTMJ, we want to go according to the historical setting. Absolutely. Because as you just see, Pastor Eddie, I want people to really understand what you just said. Every culture has their own expression. Absolutely. Their own culture, their own way of doing things. Mm -hmm. So we need to go back to see what does that mean, what they said for them in that time so we can understand it in our time that's right so historical <laughs> setting yes will include the cultural context Absolutely. of the time because even that changes over time here we go all right so let's go oh. into it some more yes. can we prove it yes we're just talking about languages can we prove it absolutely yes if we go through the bible uh in matthew chapter 16 verse 13 and continue let me read for you when jesus came to the region of say say philippi he asked his disciples saying who do say that i the son of man am mm -hmm. verse 14 so they said some say john the baptist some elijah and others jeremiah or one of the prophets Jesus said to them, Who do you say that I am? Because it has to be personal. Pastor Eddie, it's not what your mother say about Jesus. It's not like your friends say about Jesus, your sister, your 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 pastor, your 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 your, your friend, your, your your brother, your sister in Christ. No, 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 no. It is about you. It's personal. Why you need to know who Jesus is for you to you. So Jesus asked them, Who do you say that I am? And you know. Matthew 16, verse 16. <laughs> Peter. Simon Peter. Yes. Answered and said, You are the Christ, hmm. the Son of the Living God. The Christ now, in Hebrew, the word Christ is Mashiach, mm -hmm. Messiah. Mm -hmm. And in Greek, Christ is Christos. Yes. Both Messiah and Christos mean the anointed one. Yes. So Christ is not the surname of Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> it's not Jesus Christ as if that's his last name. Mm -mm. Jesus, the anointed one. Yes. So the son of the living God with a Jewish expression. expression. We're talking about Amen. cultural context. Culture. Amen again. The Jewish expression of God himself manifested in human form. We, 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 we're not going to wash because we want you to get it. So when we're talking about knowing the language, 
We don't also know in the culture. Because when a Jew heard those words, son of the living God is not a baby from, from, from God. No, 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 no. That expression, son of the living God, means exactly God himself manifested in human being or in human form. Yes. Mm -hmm. So going forward, Matthew 16, verse 17, mm -hmm. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. Amen. For flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Yes. Matthew 18, moving mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. And I also no, 16 say to verse you. verse 18. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I also say to you mm -hmm. that you are Peter. And on this rock, I will build my church. Slow down, Pastor Eddie. What the father said before, Peter, what you just said, no one revealed that to you. What Jesus said to Peter, I mean, mm -hmm. Jesus no said, one. what you just said, no one has done that to you or teach you that. What you just said, Peter, my father revealed that to you. What Jesus, what Peter said, you are the Christ. The son of the living God. That's what Jesus, uh, uh, Peter said. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Guided by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And then, Pastor Eddie, in Matthew 16 verse 18, Jesus said to Peter, On this walk, I will build my church. Now, we are getting deeper in our subject. Importance. Of original languages of the Bible. Let's go deeper. If you speak French, La Pierre, my name is Pierre, is the same thing. If you read a French Bible, you will read Jesus said to Peter, Pierre, I'm saying it in French so you can get it. Tu es Pierre, you are Peter. Tu es Pierre, she said to Pierre. You see the word Pierre, Pierre? Twice. Tu es Pierre. Tu es cette Pierre. You are Peter. Unpon, not unpon Peter. But in English, they say unpon the rock. But guess what? In Matthew 16, 18, in the original languages, Master yes. Eddie, in Greek, there are two words for rock. Great, Master Eddie. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, the word Petros mm -hmm. means rock, mm -hmm. but what kind? Mm -hmm. It is a small yes. fragment. Mm -hmm. It is a small stone. Yes. Petra. Now moving on. Let me no, no, you are no, you, you, you talking about Petro. Now Petra, Petra now is? So, Mm -hmm. Let's go back. Yes. Petros mm -hmm. is a small stone. Yes. It's a fragment. Yes. And Petra. Petra. So here the clarity, okay? Yes. The correction. Mm -hmm. Petra mm -hmm. is a solid mass <laughs> rising up from the earth <laughs> as a revelation. <sighs> I know. Listen, I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't do calm myself down. This is a teaching, Pierre. Calm yourself down. Remember I said to you in French, Pierre and Pierre are the same. Pierre, my name, Pierre, who means what? La Roche, is Pierre. So in French Bible, you read, tu es Pierre, tu es cette Pierre. In English, you read, you are Peter on this walk. But in Greek, you read, you are Petros. Unborn Petra. So Petros, as Pastor Eti said, is a small stone. Pierre, little Pierre. And Petra is the revelation. Is the revelation. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. yes. So yes. Matthew 18, 16. In 
in the context of the Greek languages. Read it for us, Pastor Eddie. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and I also say that you are Peter, Petros, mm -hmm. a fragment. Yes. And on this rock, Petra, yes. I will build my church. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, Pastor Eddie. Keep going. So, mm -hmm. you see the confusion? In the original yes. language, these two words were used. It's man, it's man. Mm -hmm. But let's say in the French, the confusion. Yes. Talk a little bit about the confusion that because it's this the same word, it's the same word has caused. The same word. It's the same word. And the confusion is because it's Pierre, Pierre. They even think, oh, the church was built on Paul, the Apostle Pierre. That's right. No, 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 so. no. That's not true at all. That's why we're talking about what the importance, the importance of the original. Yes. So, Petra, Petros, Petros, Petra, they are not the same at all. At all. At all, at all, at all. Please, I want you to really understand that. My brothers and sisters, it is time to take our time to study God's words in context according to his historical setting and ask God to bless you so you can be under a right training, a right teacher. Amen. Amen, Amen for that. You know that we are WTMJ, World Teaching Ministry of Jesus. Amen. We are a spirit-led ministry that embraces understanding so we thank you so much for being with us so we love you we thank you and we will see you next time thank you so much until next week god bless you god bless you